गाइज डू यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल जी सी सी कंपाइलर ऑन योर विंडोज मशीन जी सी सी इज़ अ कंपाइलर विच इज़ यूज फॉर रनिंग योर सी और सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्राम सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ जी सी सी कंपाइलर ऑल्सो आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू यूज इट फॉर रनिंग योर सी प्रोग्राम सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो गाइज सो गाइज यू कैन ओपन एनी ऑफ योर फेवरेट ब्राउजर एंड सिंपली सर्च फॉर जी सी सी डाउनलोड एंड ही Here in guys, you can see the website sourceforge.net. You need to just click on this link, GCC Win64 download. So guys, it will redirect you to this website sourceforge.net, and here you can see we have GCC hyphen Win64. So to download this, we need to click on this download button. Again, it will redirect you to this page, and it will start your download shortly, guys. And you can see at the top the download has been started. It is a zip file, so we need to extract it. So I'm just going to my download location, and here, guys, I'm just extracting this file. You can use any software for extracting. So here, guys, you can see my uh, file has been extracted in downloads folder. So guys, here I'm simply cutting this. folder and i'm pasting it into my c drive and i'm just renaming it for simplicity gcc so my gcc folder is containing software for running my c or c++ program okay so here you can see we have a bin folder which is important folder and you can see here we have application g++ and gcc which is used for compiling and running your program so guys now we need to set the path of this gcc bin into the environmental variable otherwise you are going to get error so simply copy this path so here we are just copying this bin path and now guys in windows search you type env that is environmental variable so here you can see we are getting this option environmental variable just select this option guys and now here you can see it has started this window click on environmental variables button and now we have two variable user and system we are going to take system variable under this we will be taking path variable just scroll down and select path and click on edit button and then it will start this window here guys simply click on new button and paste the path which you had copied and click on okay okay and one more time okay so three time okay we have to click so environmental variable path setting is done now we will be verifying whether the installation is done perfectly or not so i'm just opening my command prompt by typing cmd in windows search and here it has started my command prompt and now guys here i'm going to simply type g++ space hyphen hyphen version so guys it will show you the version of g++ or you can type gcc space hyphen hyphen version also so you can check version of g++ or gcc okay so i'm not getting any error it's showing me version that mean installation is done correctly so now guys let's run the program so for running program uh, we will be writing one simple code so here on desktop i'm creating one c is corner folder and guys in this folder i'm just right clicking and i'm selecting option text document and i'm giving name to this text document as hello.c and guys since it is text document the default extension is .txt i'm removing this extension and it's showing me this message so i'm simply going to click on yes button if you don't get extension guys you can just go to this view option and here you can select this show extension okay so now my uh, file has been created hello.c in this file we will be writing a simple code for printing uh, some message so i'm just opening this file with notepad so right click and open with notepad and now guys i'm going to write a simple code of c so guys here i'm writing hash include stdio.h and then i'm writing my main method so int main and parenthesis after that open a curly bracket guys and since we want 
to print some message so printf function i'm using and provide some message whatever you want to print and done guys double quotes complete semicolon and then return zero semicolon close the curly bracket so my code is done guys now let's run this code so to run this code again we will be going to the folder where we have created this file so and um, my folder is on desktop cs corner so i'm just going to that folder and guys here uh, at the top you just type cmd you can see hello.c is there in this folder just type cmd and you can see the command prompt has been started with this path so desktop cs corner okay since our file is saved in this folder hence we are starting command prompt from this path and now guys let's compile the code so to compile simply type gcc space your program name dot c so here i am writing gcc space hello dot c and hit enter guys and you can see we are not getting any error that mean the program is compiled successfully also guys you can go to the folder and you can see a file has been generated so let's go to the folder so guys i am not getting that uh, file a file a dot exe so what i will do i will just go to this view menu and here I am going to select this hidden files option so now guys you can see it's showing me my application a.exe so let's run this application so again I will go to my command prompt and there I am going to simply type a okay and hit enter guys and you can see it's showing me my output so guys you can follow this step for compiling and running your c program using gcc compiler so just follow my video till end you will be able to successfully run your c program using gcc so guys if really my video has helped you don't forget to hit on like button if you have any query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys uh, you can share my videos to your friend I'm there on different social media. All my social media handler I have given in description box. You can just check it out. On my Instagram, you can follow or send me query on my Instagram also. Guys, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm sharing lots of reels over there also. Or you can join my Telegram channel. There I'm sharing lots of PDF and notes. So guys, uh, that's all from my side. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications from my side. Thank you once again guys for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Till that, bye-bye. Take care. Keep watching and keep learning guys.